this video is going to show you how to download and install the Brother Design Database Transfer. It's a wonderful little utility that allows users of Brother machines to no longer have to use a USB stick to transfer embroidery designs to your machines that are Wi-Fi capable. So the first thing you want to do is go to Google and just type in brother, you can see I did this before, design database transfer. And the very first link that comes up is the one that you need and you click on that. And it gives you a picture of the types of machines uh, uh, that it can support and what happens with it. So essentially from the design database transfer, your design is going to go through your home router to a machine that is Wi-Fi capable. If you scroll down, they give you a picture of what it looks like and essentially any folder on your computer that has embroidery designs on it can be accessed in order to transfer that design over to your machine. I'm going to scroll down here just a little bit to supported operating systems. You need to run Windows 8.1 or Windows 10. If you have a Mac, I don't know at this time if it will run with Parallels and a Windows OS or not. It ought to, but at this point in time, I don't know the answer to that question. So, Scroll back up here and just a little bit down the page, it says to use design database transfer. You're going to click this blue bar right here to download the installer. You just click it one time. If you don't have the current version of Windows that it uses, either 10 or 8.1, then you won't see this box right here and it'll want you to get an upgraded Windows system, operating system. It should automatically detect the type of uh, operating system or OS operating system that you have. It knows I'm running Windows 10 on my laptop, so I'm just going to click OK. And when you do that, you're going to see an end user license agreement to come up. You have to agree to it in order to be able to download the, the installer. I'm going to click on it. It started downloading into my downloads folder automatically up here in the corner. If that doesn't happen for you, you can click right here and download it this way. Yours will not have a four on it. This is the fourth time I've downloaded and installed this utility so that um, I can show you how to do it when I made the video. You can open the file by clicking on open file or you can use your yellow folder at the bottom to navigate to your downloads folder. Do I want to allow the app to make changes to my device? And I can see it's the design database transfer setup. I'm going to tell it yes. And it automatically starts the installer. So to select your language, I'm choosing English, tell it OK. And a wizard pops up. This is very simple. You don't have to do anything but follow the prompts and click the boxes that they want you to do. So you do need to accept the terms of use and click on that. So that blue button is highlighted right there and then click next. And this allow brother to collect anonymous usage data. What this means is anytime the installer fails, it's going to automatically send a notice to brother so that they can see uh, what failed and why it failed. They don't get your name or any other personally identifiable information from you. They don't know where you live, any of that, but they need to know if it failed, why it failed, and that way they can fix it if it has any kind of bugs in it. I'm going to click Next. It wants to put it into your C drive program files x86. That's perfectly fine. And then it's going to create the folder brother design database transfer. You cannot install this in your documents folder. It needs to go into the C drive so that the C drive can activate the application. If you browse to put it somewhere else, 
and you try to put it in some other folder, it's not going to work properly. So just leave that as is and click next. And then it tells you it's going to put it in this location, which is what we just saw, and I'm going to click install. It's going to extract the files that came out of the executable and finish, and it's all done. So I'm going to click finish. And I'm all done with this. I'm going to minimize my browser window by clicking on the minus button. Now, one of the things that it does automatically is it puts it on your desktop. You'll see an icon on your desktop. And that's perfectly fine. It's kind of hard for me to see, and I use it all the time. So I'm going to highlight the icon by clicking on it one time. Don't double click. Click on it one time, right click, and a menu is going to pop up. And there is pin to start, which I don't want to do, and there is pin to taskbar. And that's going to put the icon down here on the bottom on the taskbar where I can get to it quickly. So I'm going to click pin to taskbar, and it popped up right here. So no matter what application or browser window I'm running, whatever, I don't have to minimize anything on my screen. Let's say I'm running in Brilliance. I don't have to minimize anything on my screen to go to the design database transfer. So I'm going to click this icon right now. In order to add a machine into the design database transfer window, you need to make sure your machine is turned on and it has gone through that initial sequencing that it does where you touch the screen and click OK and the arm will move for the very first time on a single needle or the head will move around on the multi-needle. Once you get that done, then you can come up to the top and click Option and go to Network Machine Settings. And right now we don't see any machines right here, so I'm going to click Add. And it goes to Searching. So right now it's going to search the network and look for machines on the network. There is my single needle, my Luminaire XP2. It's very helpful to give your machines unique names so you know what's what. Otherwise, you'll get some kind of strange machine name here. You, it, it can be hard to know what's what if you have more than one machine. Spanky is my PR1055 multi-needle, and Darla is my single needle, my Luminaire. I'm going to highlight Spanky right now. Hold the Control key down and click Darla as well. And I'm going to click Add. And they both loaded in. And I'm just going to click OK. So now over here in the Send To, I have the different machines. You need to highlight the machine you're going to use before you try to transfer any designs. So I want to send something to my multi-needle, so I'm going to pick Spanky to send it to. And then in my folder up here, I'm going to navigate to where I uh, want to choose a design from. For instance, here is the handmade holiday USB drive from Kimberbell. I'm going to open this up. I'm going to go to PES for my machine. I want to get the seasonal chef apron. There it is. And there are the two designs that come up with the seasonal chef apron. I don't want to use the centering crosshairs. I aligned mine using a different method. I'm just going to highlight this the design that I want to transfer, I'm going to click the arrow to move it into the writing list, and it's ready to go. I'm just going to click the, the little sewing machine with the arrow, and it says, please wait for a while, and it's all done. So that design is now on my multi-needle, and in order to bring it up on the multi-needle, you need to be sure to choose wireless from where you want to get your design. So that's it. That's how easy it is to install the design database transfer and move designs to your machines. Mm -hmm.